Well, they're fine. the red monk and if you can guess if I have friends or if I don't have friends the answer is very clear I I probably don't have a singular friend not one and I know I used to have friends and then like I close my eyes and then I wake up and two years pass and like now like I don't I'm like playing on my PS4 every single fucking night. And you know, it's not like I think my social skills have, you know, improved since I was sixteen. I was like a real fucking dick growing up. But like now, you know, I'm like more aware of like boundaries and shit. But yet I don't have a singular acquaintance. Mainly because I think like when men hang out they don't say friends. You know, I think the last time uh, I think a man should say friends would be like at age like 14. I think once you're past that age, you're too old to like say friends. You could say boys, I guess. But no, I think I've have, I've have just I've like two or three. That doesn't include my brothers though. That's that's not zero. But like, I swear to God, like after fucking high school, like everyone goes their separate ways. They have to work 50 hours a week to pay for fucking school. And, like, with the new, like, 2020, there's a lot of people just, you know, cocooning and, like, staying inside. Like, there was so little stuff to do, like, in the 80s when you're in your house. But now you have, like, internet and computers and, you know, PlayStations to just, you know, stay inside and play video games all day. is pretty entertaining, you know. There's a lot less risk involved. But, you know, to live life is to fucking live. And, you know, I want to you know, go out there and experience shit. So I thought I could, you know, in this video, talk about some shit that can help you, like, get a different perspective on how to, you know, obtain uh, casual relationships with your peers. It's weird that some people attempt to, like, always, like, kick someone down when they can. You know, if they have the opportunity to kick someone down... There are people out there that will take that and like stepping out of your boundaries and like talking to someone. They're like, why are you approaching the alpha male? And it's just, there's just that haze. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not at all scared of social situations. Like, what the fuck are words going to do to you? And it's like someone, that, no one's going to like get personally insulted if you try to like approach them and be nice. But I swear to God, it's just like stepping outside of the boundaries of oh yeah you're just here it seems to be you know a lot for some people and you know I, I, I really you know go out of my way to you know to talk to people I think that's really important you know if you it's not like okay let's say you stop talking to people you know let's say relationships start where one person talks to the other and you just stop talking it doesn't mean you get 50% less it means you get like 90% less because you, know, you seem less approachable. And it is really important like to step forward. You know, a lot of people are just too far back. They don't want to go forward because somehow that can be to get turned down. You know, it's there's this uh, thing that they just turn down. And I think maybe it's something that guys do that, that we're older, you know, if to like, obtain this weird image of being a tough dude or something like that fucking matters but it seems like you know approaching not a lot of people do because i think if you can either you know be scared of approaching whatever just because you get turned down a lot i've i've given up given a single fucking shit i'm just going like full fucking try hard till i get it and a lot of people 
not they're not scared, but they just don't approach people just because they you know they turn down. That's what they do. That's what they expect. So it's just it's just such a fucking shame, and it just seems like there's that like haze, you know. And I think it's like really important too, right? Because like when the fuck it's like why do you have to pretend that our current situation like let's say we're at the school uh and they try to turn down like okay yeah i got better things to do you know but what the fuck better things you have to do man like you have so much fucking time and i think like being nice to someone and like approaching them is just people are scared of that because they can turn down in their heads i just think it's a fucking shame i don't know i with these things, it's hard, like, there's a, there's a filter, you know, when you talk, and, you know, even if you try your absolute hardest to get rid of it, it's still going to be there to some extent, and, you know, I try to get different perspectives and see how it is, but I just seem like, uh, it's hard to, I think if you have friends, it's really easy to get new ones, but if you have no friends or, like, two friends, uh, uh, it's a lot more uh, difficult because it's, you know it's just hard to pull that stuff out of the air, and even if you like fucking try your hardest, it just fucking turn you down. Another thing I hear people say, and this is like the super duper fucking optimistic thing, and they're like, just go to the mall and talk to people, and it's just you need a reason to talk to someone, talk to someone initially. Just like going and fucking to go to fucking Walmart and just approach strangers, they'll just give you the weirdest fucking look. It'll be so fucking awkward. Like you need to have a reason to talk to someone, and it's just sort of uh, it's difficult in that way to like find a reason. Because like if you have friends and a friend is introducing you to a friend, you that's a reason you know to talk to them. Even at school, you're like, hey, we're at the same school. Let's freaking talk about being at the same school. Uh, it's just, that's a, I think that's a reason enough. And I swear to God, like, people trying to, you know, obtain that appearance of being too busy and being the only one that is just, I think it's foolish. This is an absolutely amazing tip. Uh, okay. You know, I always used to kind of have problems, you know, having someone actually give a shit to talk about me. And, you know, once I found out this one just little hack, I can have people fucking tell me their entire fucking life stories. They just won't fucking shut up. And that is, who's the most important person to the person you're talking to? It's themselves, right? The most important person to the person you're talking to is themselves, right? So if you just want to have them just really care to share and just not fucking shut up, ask them about themselves. Right, this is this is a very fucking good tip, right? And don't just like drill them with questions, but you know, like just ask them a question, ask them about something they care about, how and how they feel about it, and they'll just go on forever because you know they're talking about their favorite person, and then you can come back with how you felt about the situation or what they did next. But you know, always add something before you ask another question, but. You know, you can have pretty much anyone in the entire fucking world just yap on for an eternity. Just, you ask them about themselves. It, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing because, you know, you're having a conversation. You know, you're having a conversation. The other person's interested in the interaction. The social interaction is nice. And it's just the best way to have them uh, talk is for you to listen. I don't know, the more time that passes, you know, the more I think that this whole thing is just something that grown-ups don't do as much. Like, I think when grown-ups hang out, they're only, you know, getting stoned or drunk. That's only when adults hang out nowadays. I don't like doing either too much, so it's kind of difficult in that regard. And, like, it's kind of weird. Like, hey, let's just, if you guys just want to talk and hang out, you can just do it over Discord. You know, just play video games together it's enough you don't even have to leave your house to have that casual relationship but i mean 
I swear to God, like, if you're the above the age of, like, 20, people are only meeting up to freaking get drunk. You know, and it's just, it's a shame, too. And I think, you know, you accept a lot of responsibilities, you turn it into adulthood. Like, when I was a fucking kid, I had people who lived down the street from me, and I just, I didn't have to call them, I just go down the street and knock on the door. And they're like, oh yeah, hey, uh, I'll be down to your house in an hour, or whatever. And it's just a fucking shame. I'm not sure. There's a lot of factors that come into play. And I think if you just... You know, it's bound to happen, eventually. And another factor is that the whole... You know, we have nothing to do. Type deal. Like, you're like, okay, so there's some people at school. You know, I, I don't mind. You know, I've, I've pretty much given up caring what other people think about me. And that was one of the best things I could ever do. But, like, we're at school. And they're like... What the fuck do we do? Like, what, what the fuck is there to do? You know, maybe that's just where I live. Like, there's this town down the street. Uh, it's like 25 miles away from where I live. And there's just such, like, a huge drug problem. Because there's, like, nothing else to do. There's fucking nothing else to do, you know? And, like, that TV show Friends, they would just go to a coffee shop and sit. You know, and that's why I think like getting drunk is like the main thing because that is something to do, you know, but like what, where else is it? What else is there to do? You know, unless you, I guess you could do a study and you could like play instruments together. That would be fun. But it's, I think it's difficult in that regard, and especially, you know, being adults to some extent, it's, it's. It's a tricky business. It's a tricky business. So, I mean, I'm not really one to give advice for this situation. Like, I'm, like, because I'm a really bad example. I'm a really bad fucking example. But I think probably the best thing to do, I think the best thing to do is to, once you get that momentum, it'll be a lot easier. But if you, like, find something to do, like, going to lunch and hanging out's enough. And the main thing you got to do is just try to have someone introduce you to their other friends. Because that's, that's the main thing of how it works. And if you're, like, you have to look at what you and the other person have in common. If, if you know, you both like to play video games, you both can play video games. And then from there, then you can get drunk or whatever. But... We have to find something in common. But just like random people on the street. Like going to fucking Walmart. You're not. I'm sorry. It's going to be very difficult. To find fucking friends. As an adult. In fucking Walmart. Just because you know. Where you overlap. I think is a good place to start. And it's really important to you know. Approach. And. When you approach other people. Because like no one's going to fucking approach you. You know this is. If. If you expect. Anything out of anyone else, that is, you're going to get let down. And that's sad, but it is true. If you expect anything out of anyone else, you're going to get let down. So if you want to get friends, you have to, you know, do that within yourself. You know, you have to, you approach people. And you have to sort of, you know, be in the same step as them. And, you know, it's not just like, hey, what's up, what's up, let's go to uh, the Walmart or whatever. It's, you know... Just get to know one over time. You do it naturally. Like, imagine some organic thing and just roll with that. And wherever you overlap, you know, this is a good place to start. And it's best to, you know, find friends with someone, you know, who has friends. Even then, if there's another person that doesn't have friends and you don't have friends either, that's still not half bad to, you know, meet up and chill out. But, you know, it's difficult, you know, for adults. Especially because, like, a lot of jobs are, like, really demanding. And sometimes people just want to play on Discord. Like, um, like this is, this is not true for me at all. And it's true for some, you know, other people. But, like, they have... You have to look what you currently have. You know what I mean? Like, you'll be surprised what you currently have. Like, I have, you know, maybe two or three friends, but... Yeah, I can turn that into more. You have to look at what you already have, right? This isn't some 
beginning of a story. Your entire life is a story. And look where you know, look at your past. Look where you came from, right? Because that is what led to where you are right now, right? So look at what you have. If you have like friends you just talk to on Discord, maybe ask to hang out with them. Not a bad deal. See where you overlap. And that's about all I can think of. It's just important to, you know, approach, you know, and do your part and to be in the same step as them, right? Because uh, that's how it's going to come to you is you have to go for it. And don't be, like, rejection's really fucking dumb, especially when people are just meaninglessly rude, just for, solely for the fuck of it. Like, I've worked a few jobs, and there are people there who were literally just dicks for the sole fuckery of it. They were like, how much of a fuck bag do you have to be to be a fucking dick hole for the sheer fuckery of it? So, I mean, if someone, you know, is rude to you when you try to, you know, just ask them how their day is going, you know, you, you're not in the wrong, right? Like, you'll be surprised if you just stay in the right, you will be right. Like, of course, random fucking negative occurrences happen. But if you just, you know, if you're polite, and you just, you know, go for it. You know, it's not at all out of the realm of possibility to just say, hey, man, what's up? How's your day? You know? But, I mean, this is advice coming from me. So, uh, I mean, yeah. You know, there, just get a few different perspectives. You know, see it in a positive light. You know, and when it comes down to it, it's just for the sheer enjoyment of it. And it's just tough, man, because once you get that ball rolling, it'll fucking roll, you know? And the momentum's nice, but if you don't have it, it fucking sucks. You know, I, I, can, I can fucking say that. So, yeah. Thank you for watching my video. Alright, bye.